Imperial Stout from the Amsterdam Brewing Company. 9% alcohol. 9%. That's it? Oh. Alright. It's a Tempest. Okay. Whatever that. No. Yeah, no, sure. <laughs> oh my. Oh, it looks very nice. How's that plastic cup going? Perfect. Good. You know it's my favorite. I know, that's why you get it. Right. So, I got a nice mocha head, he got nothing. I didn't pour it right. That smells right. Chocolate, coffee. Mm -hmm. All the stuff you need. More espresso though than coffee, a little more bitter smelling. Yeah. Like, uh, I might even go as geeky and as far as saying Arabica beans. Ooh. Um, <laughs> I smell, smell some caramel. Smell mm. some molasses. It smells good. Yeah. It's a fucking bitch to get into. I fucking hate it. Let's <laughs> drink it. Oh. Oh, yeah. There's some shit going on in there. This is good. <laughs> you know? If anybody out there has one of these and is waiting and wants to know anything about this, I have to say first and foremost, if you have as much trouble getting the cocksucker open as we did, um, so far it's well worth it. Fight for this one. <laughs> yes, yes. The, uh, the challenge to get into it is rewarded at the end. Very chocolatey, very has like roasted malt there too. Sticky lips. Yeah, very caramelly, very molassesy, lots and lots of bitter coffee. Mm -hmm. Now this one, I can actually sort of taste the alcohol. I can sort of get the alcohol astringency. Yeah. But it actually mixes nicely with the actual beer. Yeah, it's um, it's it's the kind of coffee bitterness you're getting from it that actually makes it nice that you're tasting the alcohol. I don't know, it's a uh, it, it's it working just really well. up nicely down there. Yeah, this is down really there. nice. Right down here. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> the viscosity is awesome too. Yep, yeah, it's got everything going on. Now, am I imagining this, or do you get some like dark fruit, just a touch of it? I'm not. I'm not sure if I would say dark fruit. I think it. I think it's actually just. Um, there's there's a slight whininess to the alcohol that you're getting. I think, and uh, I can get fucked. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, now I'm the one who's got the phone problem. This is great. Um, dark fruit. I'm, well, you know, I, for a second I almost tasted like um, dark chocolate covered like black cherries. Because like, I, I, I've had those and I like them, but it was so sudden and then it was gone and I got kind of just, 
alcohol and coffee. Well, that's, that's why I was so, asking if I was imagining it, because it is just, like, there and gone. Yeah, it's, it's possible. But, uh, whatever right, it after is. After the okay. chocolate and caramel, it seems yeah. that there's a slight fruity taste, and then just bang. Mm -hmm. Espresso and alcohol. Yeah, which is kind of nice <laughs> for me, because I, I like both of those, espresso and alcohol. Uh, <sighs> This is really nice. Um, really? That, that's more, more more annoying than the pocket jello. <laughs> fucking black polymer everywhere. All right. <laughs> now. We've had a lot of great stouts, uh, imperial stouts and everything else. This has all the quality. This one actually has um, some more unique qualities to it than some of the other ones, um, especially, like I said, with that, that real dark roasted coffee flavor, which is really nice. Um, it, it's For me, it's making it a little a little bit less drinkable because it is more bitter and a little like more dark, like sort of black coffee-ish. But... Um, well, now that I'm done my cup, you know, yeah, I'm kind of getting a smoky feel in the throat, too. Th there's a lot of that going on, yeah. And, um, and I know that he... Uh, James has a Roche beer, which is what he uses as his Oktoberfest. So okay. He might add some of that smokiness to this as well. Wouldn't surprise me. But it 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 is really good. But yeah, I I don't know if the whole bottle would taste just as good. Well, I'm sure it would. Yes, but but like I said, how long would it take me to drink it? Yeah, exactly. Like it, it, I mean. We, some of the other Imperial Stouts, um, this would have been gone five minutes ago. <laughs> well, that's because it took us five minutes to get into the... No, 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 I just... <laughs> no, no, I mean, like, it would, it would have went down right away. Um, I'm not saying... I mean, this this, this is going to get a very, very, very high score for me, but it's just that that deep, deep roasted coffee, dark roast flavor is, is definitely making it a little bit less drinkable than, uh, than I would like it to be, for sure. Um, for once, it's not the uh, high alcohol content that I'm complaining about. Because <laughs> I usually do, but... I nice. would say this is easily Amsterdam's best brew. Um, I would probably put it at an 8.75, because it is amazing, but it's just not as drinkable as some of the other Imperial Stokes. Um, I agree completely. Definitely the best thing I've had from Amsterdam. The 8.75 is definitely where I was going with this. I, I do think... Um, I think that th this would become actually easier to drink for me. I think uh, with a little bit more of the alcohol setting in, you know, a little bit of numbing, and actually for me, bitterness goes away with more consumption. So I think that if I had a couple of these, the second one would probably be the best. But uh, unfortunately, the second one is the last one. <laughs> so we didn't get that one. 8.75. Bravo, Amsterdam. This is great. 8.75 from each of us for the Tempest Imperial Stout from the Amsterdam Brewing Company in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Uh, when he makes it next year, make sure to go and grab some because this is great. But you have to go to the brewery on Bathurst Street to get it, so it's a nice walk. Bye. <laughs> That's wicked. That is